Hello everyone, welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. Uh, today I've got a little video I want to show you. This is uh, some slides that I took. Uh, I decided to try and build a new uh, uh, hydraulic press uh, for my shop. And these photographs at the beginning are showing you some of the uh, uh, steps we went through to make it. a one and a half inch drill bit and I'm drilling all four of the legs at once uh, each uh, clip about it. And, uh, so that's the finished uh, four sections of the uprights um, uh, I used my uh, uh, brown and sharp bridge port, and uh, well, brown and sharp was the vertical mill in the bridge port. I used it to drill some of the other holes, <coughs> some of the smaller holes. I decided that I wanted to make this thing um, reversible, so rather than welding all the pieces together, I decided to bolt all the pieces together and make it so that it could be uh, taken apart, put in the back of a pickup truck and hauled away or uh, whatever uh, needed to be done with it. Uh, so I, I opted to uh, put a lot of machining into it and, and uh, made the, uh, all the parts so it would eventually come apart down the road. And uh, as you can see from the various uh, shots here of how it's going together. That shot right there is upside down. I had it upside down to get the <coughs> everything lined up. Uh, I found the piston and uh, some of the controls and different things. The guy had some a bunch of used equipment uh, laying around in his shop so I just bought all he had and, and put it together. Uh, inspiration for the press came from uh, Keith Finner. I saw his press and was extremely impressed with what a jo great job he did on his. Um, the uh, cab, I wanted mine to be able to move around so I built casters on it. Um, <laughs> those casters weigh six pounds, over six pounds a piece. So, they, but they do a great job, allow it to roll around. And uh, uh, I did do a little bit of welding, I believe the base. Yeah, I think I welded it together. It's good. So, but it will un unbolt from the base, and then you can uh, take everything apart. Um, I liked uh, what Keith had done with his uh, raising and lowering uh, mechanism for the table to raise and lower. I came up with a little different uh, uh, style. So, let's see, I guess we're going to talk to me now. Uh, it is uh, April 5th. It's uh, just about 6 o'clock. Uh, fire it up. Got a little air in the lines, but we'll get that out. So, thanks for watching. These last uh, couple of videos, or not videos, but uh, snapshots I took.
I have the machine I built. Uh, it's a brake, finger brake, uh, for the press, and uh, I'll discuss it in another video. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.